Welcome to the 36th episode of Democracy at the Crossroads, a platform where we speak truth to power. Today we'll discuss the contrasting response of India to the serious charges labeled by the governments of Canada and the United States of America. The charges are more or less similar. Both the countries accuse Indian officials plotting the murder of Khalistani proponents on the foreign soil. But there is a difference. The outcome was different in both the cases. Canada's accusation is India sponsored hitmen succeeded in killing the Canada-based Sikh extremist leader Hardeep Singh Nizar. The US accuses India of hatching a similar plot against a US-based Sikh militant leader. It says that an Indian official working for the Indian Embassy in the United States entered into a conspiracy to kill Gurpatwant Singh Panoon, a Khalistani activist based in the USA. But unlike in Canada, the US foiled that assassination plot. A US undercover agent is supposed to have blown the lead on this plot planned by India. What has been India's reaction to both these developments? When Canada made the explosive charge in September this year, our external affairs ministry resorted to a virulent response. It called the charge baseless, unfounded, a figment of imagination. It accused Canada of being a terrorist heaven where the lights of Niger get shelter and protection. India's offensive reaction didn't stop there. It gave the Canadian embassy in Delhi a deadline to scale down its staff there. It suspended the visa service for the Canadian citizens. It went to every forum to denounce Canada's ulterior design in encouraging a Khalistani state in India. But when the US made a similar charge in November, India's reaction was strikingly different. In an explosive indictment on Wednesday, November 29, the U.S. Department of Justice has revealed that an official working for the Indian Embassy in the USA was the prime architect of the assassination plot. This official has not been named by the U.S. Though it is mentioned that he worked for the Central Reserve Police Force in India, CRPF, and he has been deployed as an intelligence officer at India's US Embassy. This unnamed official gave the assignment of killing Durpatwan Singh Panun to one Nikhil Gupta, an international drug and arms dealer based in India. The US indictment notes that Gupta is an accused in a serious criminal case in Gujarat and he was assured by the Indian official that he would be taken off the hook in Gujarat if he successfully executed the plot to kill Panun by hiring a hitman. 
Nikhil Gupta gave the contract killing job to a man based in the US to one of his contacts on the short payment of $100,000 out of which $15,000 were given as an advance. But unfortunately for India, the US report says, the man Gupta hired to oversee the contract killing operation happened to be an undercover agent working for the US agencies. So the plot unraveled. The US went to town with its findings. The Washington Post carried a, carried a detailed report about it. And how did India react to this US revelation? Here you can see the contrast. In the case of Canada, India's reaction was belligerent, over the top. India had gone on the offensive. But our external affairs ministry's reaction to the US charge was meek, subdued, apologetic. India said that US charge was a matter of serious concern and India would investigate the matter to go to the bottom of the truth. It promptly set up a high profile committee to do the same, to look into the matter immediately. India has since been making repeated statements to assuage the sentiment of the United States. India never dared even say once that protecting the lights of Gurpant Singh Mahapanun, whom India had designated as a terrorist, the USA has turned into a heaven of terrorism. They said it in case of Canada, but never had the courage to say it to America. The question we all must ask of our government, why do you bark like a ferocious dog when Canada accuses you of plotting the murder of a Canadian citizen? But why you grovel before the United States when it makes a similar accusation that you tried to kill an American citizen on the American soil. In both the cases, the targets happen to be Khalistani activists. Why is this duplicity, Mr. Jaishankar? Why this double standard, Mr. Prime Minister? Why, under your stewardship, our great country roars like a lion in front of Canada, but prostrates like a convict in front of the US? Is it because Canada can do no harm to India, but the US can watch India into a hole and your high profile will go into oblivion if it wishes to do so? We, the proud Indians, must know if the USA would extract its pound of flesh from India in terms of arms deal at exaggerated prices as a price to pay down our government's acts of omission and commission. We certainly deserve an answer.